everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For today's video, I wanted to do a kind of quick, just uh, first impression, review, uh, demonstration of a new product from the Estee Edit. And this is from Estee Lauder. It's kind of a um, branch off of Estee Lauder and it is designed to hit maybe like a younger demographic. I don't know that that's necessarily the case. They do have like Kendall Jenner advertising it and um, like being a spokesperson for it, but I'm not entirely sure that it's only geared towards younger um, people because I'm gonna use it, I'm not that young. But the one I wanted to try out today is the Flash Illuminator. It is something you can use on its own or mixed with a foundation to add luminosity, like illumination to your face. I'm going to test this out today. I got it in the shade 02 Morning Light. Um, they do have a fairly large shade range on this and it ranges from like white to um, very uh, deep colors, uh, deeper, darker colors. So depending on I guess the look you're going for, um, it will depend on perhaps the shade you would like to purchase. Like I said, mine is Morning Light and I'll show you here. I'm actually going to do it on the back of this hand. This hand I put foundation on, so I don't want to mix them. So I don't know if I need to shake this up, but I'm going to shake it up a little bit. And here is what it looks like just out of the tube. It is thicker in consistency, but you can see as I brush along, um, it is definitely illuminating my hand here. So, give it a try. What I wanted to do for today, because I wanted to test using it with foundation, um, and so I wanted to mix it with the foundation I was going to use, so what I want to do is I'm going to do half of my face um, in just foundation and the other half mixed with the illuminator, and I'm going to use a, my foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation today because it is a very matte foundation, so it doesn't have a lot of shine to it at all. So it'll be pretty neutral to compare the two sides with. So first thing I'm going to do is pop some on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to go in with this um, dual-sided IT Cosmetics Foundation Brush. And again, I'm only putting just foundation on this half of my face. All right, so I've got foundation just on half of my face. So for the other half now, I'm going to use my foundation again. Pop on a little bit more here. And then I'm going to add in the illuminator. And I'm just going to put a pump of that in. Actually, I'm not even going to put a whole pump in because you actually get quite a bit in there. I'm going to just take my brush and kind of blend it. Hmm. Okay. And. Honestly, not sure if I noticed all that much of a difference. Per to be her, hmm. to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure. Just based on what went on the back of my hand, I had far higher expectations for this side of my face. Um, I don't notice looking at it that this side looks any more matte than this side. I definitely don't know that this side looks more shimmery or glowy than this side. Um, I am wondering if it is a matter of like mixing it with foundation or mixing it with the brush versus mixing it with my hand. However, I can go through and say there's very little product left in my brush. I chose this brush because it doesn't pick up a ton of product. Um, so I don't know. I do want to try one more thing though. I'm actually just going to try putting this on this side of my face that definitely already has foundation on it. Um, with my fingers, not a brush. And I want to see if that kind of makes any difference of how the product kind of goes on. So I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand because I don't want to put too, too much on. It is hard to like move because it's very thick. So in terms of, uh, you know, popping this and mixing it with a foundation, it is a little bit stiff and difficult to move. So I do notice that when I put it on with my fingers, I get a little bit more result out of it. 
So I think the next thing I'd want to check out and see is if I put this on first, kind of as a, a you know, after my, my primer, but before my foundation to see if that made any difference. Because I definitely notice a glow on this side that I didn't really notice on this side right away. So overall, I would say I definitely notice something. I'm not entirely wowed by this product. I'm not entirely like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing in the world. How did I ever live without this? No, we're not there yet. So, um, but I do like this product. I don't dislike this product by any means. Um, I will use it again and try it out in a couple of different ways. And if I ever get some different results, I will certainly let you all know. But I hope you enjoyed this very quick review demonstration first impression video on the Flash Illuminator from the Estee Edit. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!